So I'm just going to give a quick demo of the Battleship AI runner that I created. Um, when I was in college, uh, the computer science club basically put on a contest where students created Battleship AIs and ran them against each other. Um, the Battleship like board game where you have five boats. Um, so this is the code for the one from college I participated in. I actually won uh, one of the during one of the semesters. Um, so it's in Java. This is Eclipse, and so I'll just kind of show the Java version off. Um, uh, I basically needed a project to work on to kind of just stay sharp with uh, the WPF just for practice. And I had so much fun in college working on this that um, this is kind of what I chose to make. So this is the the Java version we were given in college. So you have all these captains, um, all these battleship AIs basically. And you can choose some ones. My one was... Where is it? Captain Morgan. Uh, so just choose one of these. And then you would choose how many matches you want them to play. And then all the selected ones would play against each other. And it kept track of statistics. So for Captain Morgan, when he played Captain Adama, he won... 496 times, so 496 of his 977 were uh, against Captain Adama. His accuracy against Captain Adama was 37%, so pretty good. Um, yeah, so this was the Java version that I was basically using as a template that I kind of ported over to WPF. So I'll show off what I created. Um, this was my creation. I guess I should do a little side by side. Um, and I had actually contacted one of my old professors about, like, told him that I was thinking of porting it to WPF or to C Sharp, and he's he basically didn't like that idea. He I don't think he wanted. Two competitions. I think he would have rather if uh, people were still interested in it to uh, to like join the Java competition. But so you can kind of see like it's got all the same components. It's got a heat map at the bottom. There's is a little bigger. It's got a little combo box on the side to see uh, statistics. I added up more statistics like total statistics to these rows um so just go through do the 500 so does a round robin of all the selected captains updates the statistics in real time which is pretty cool just like the java version I was porting it from you can choose an opponent and it'll give statistics um, has a heat map in the bottom. So this shows for Captain Morgan where he placed his ships and it's going to tend to congregate towards the middle. Does this expand? Uh, I wish these expanded. Um, and also his attack pattern. He attacked in the bottom left mostly because for testing purposes, I made Captain America always place their ships in the bottom left. Um, and you can break it down. You can see like just where they're placing their patrol boat. He always places his every game in the bottom left. Destroyer, submarine, battleship, aircraft carrier. So these are just kind of debugging tools. Um, and then also for debugging, uh, you can play against any of the captains just by double clicking. So we'll play a quick game. Um, my strategy it was actually 
to prevent the two boat from getting found, I would place all the other ships around the two boat. So then, like in the process of trying to sink the two boat, they would get, um, they would like get hits or like shots on the board around the two boat, and then they wouldn't be able to find the two boat. So that was kind of my strategy. So I placed all five boats, and now ready to play. So the enemies, or the AI's boats are somewhere here. Obviously good strategy, start in the middle. Oh geez, they already found one of our boats. Whoops. Oh, I was gonna sneeze there. So found the, if it doesn't tell you which boat you're hitting. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, hope I don't have a flu. Um, oh, five boat. Um, going diagonals. All right, we might actually win this down there. Two boat. Yeah, that's one thing I really should have added was like some sort of display so you know if you've actually sunk the boat or not. Because when you're playing against the AI, like you really have no idea. Like maybe this is a three boat and a another boat going down this way, and in the real board game, you'd be told like sunk your destroyer or whatever. but you don't really get that in this little testing. And you can kind of see my little plan worked where it's got uh, shots on the board around the two boat. So we've, we've probably won. This competition is basically just about finding their the other uh, player's two boat. If you do that, you're probably going to win. So what am I? I'm looking for the other three boat, it looks like. Oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> All right. AI is zero and one because we smoked them. So that's pretty much it. I spent way too much time in college perfecting this uh, these battleship AIs. Kind of give you a rundown of the code. Um, all the captains are put in a captain folder. They all implement um, this I captain interface. This is that Captain America that always placed his boats in the bottom left. See, it's it's just hard coded to place ship and coordinate zero zero one zero so he's not a very smart AI these aren't really AIs they're just simple programs um but yeah the I captain interface I pretty much just heisted this code from the Java version uh, initialize basically start in the game you can know who your opponent is so you can kind of keep track of which AIs are using what strategies. At the beginning of the game, it calls get fleet. So the fleet is just your set of five ships. That's what all that class is. Um, each turn, the game runner will call make attack, and you gotta return a coordinate for where you want to attack. Result of attack, uh, just the integer represents like was it a hit, miss, did you sink the ship, um, what. And this is to record the opponent's attack, so you can kind of keep track of where they're attacking. And result of game, do you win or lose? So, kind of when the game runner starts, uh, it basically uses reflection to find every class in the assembly 
that implements iCaptain. So that's kind of how it'll find whatever class you put here. Um, I'm not going to go through all this code. It's like I said, I kind of gave up on this project once I realized <laughs> it was just going to be me making AIs against myself, which is not nearly as cool. Uh, yeah. It, like I said, it was basically just to stay sharp with WPF. So this is the, kind of the main window. There's a million cells. It's a uniform grid. Yep. Just a basic WPF interface. Like I said, I had a lot of fun and uh, hopefully I was able to convey a little bit of uh, about this project. Thanks for watching.